Hi Libra, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your October 2021 general reading. I've already pulled your tarot and first of all I've pulled the Angel Wisdom Oracle Tarot for you, clarified by, I can't remember the name of this tarot, but anyway it's this deck over here. So um, this is the present position. If the present position doesn't make sense to you, what that means is that you could be watching the reading too early. I am a psychic and a medium. I'm getting the information from the spirit world. Or it could mean that you, this is not your reading. So if you don't resonate with this part of the reading, don't bother moving forward in the reading. Um, it's best with my readings not to pick and choose what works for you in the reading, like in other readings. Again, I'm picking things up from the spirit world. So sometimes these readings are just, not sometimes, but all the time. It, either you take the whole reading or you take none, none of it. Don't take bits and pieces of it. If this present position does not make sense to you, please put it in a playlist, come back to it. Um, spirit does have a habit of uh, kind of taking me far into the future sometimes. And uh, even for my own readings, Libra, like for my own zodiac sign, um, I'll be doing the reading and I'm like, this is total crap. <laughs> and I'll uh, follow the spirit world's advice and I'll watch it sometimes a month after I've done the reading or two months and it is spot on, it's incredible. But anyway, um, it may not be incredible for you, but I'm just saying, you know, kind of how to understand the reading and whether it's for you or not. So I'm going to begin. What I have for you here is the page of, actually the Ace of uh, Wands. In this energy here, what we have is an amazing opportunity, be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do, do what you're passionate about. There's some conflicting energy as I was pulling the cards because what was standing out to me as I was pulling the cards psychically, meaning energetically, is that there was a lot of wand energy and sword energy uh, dominating this general reading. And in the wand energy, what I kept feeling is a loss of passion, but this indicates an incredible amount of passion. And... Um, it's combined, so we have the Ace of Wands with the Tower moment. Spirit, can you bring forward for me, for Libra, from now until the end of October, what is the relevance of the Ace of Wands, the Tower in the upright position? We've got the Eight of Swords in the reverse position and the Chariot in the upright position. So basically, I put all these cards in the upright position in the holder so you can see it. However, um, I put it in a certain way so I know which card is reversed and which card is not reversed. Spirit, bring the information forward for me. What's going on for Libra in their present position? Can you tell me more? I'm really confused about this, this wand energy. Can you make it clear for me? What is going on here? What is going on? Okay, thank you. All right, so what is happening is that the, the tower is here because uh, there's kind of like a reboot going on in your life where things have been stagnant for you. And now spirit, crying out loud, spirit. Um, spirit is bringing back your yearly reading. Now, um, these yearly 2021 readings are no longer on YouTube. Uh, but I filmed them a year ago <laughs> and Spirit is reminding me that I filmed your reading a year ago, your yearly reading. And it talked a lot, Spirit is bringing back the reading for me. And it talked, they talked a lot, I guess, about manifestation and um, this is your year to kind of, they, uh, Spirit is talking about the Law of Attraction books by Jerry and Esther Hicks, that it was really important that you get the right mindset. And they gave that as an example of like study materials or reference materials you can use to turn your mind into the kind of right direction you needed to manifest. So what Spirit is making me feel here is that the, this tower moment has been created by you because there has been a, a long shift of mindset, Spirit is telling me, um, during the year and it continues to move forward. 
Now, the tower moment, um, don't worry about that. For many of you that watch tarot readings, you might get a bit scared about it. I'll tell you if there's something to worry about. But here, that's not the energy coming from this card. There's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing to be worried about. What it feels like is that um, manifestation, you've made a lot of, you've been doing a lot of things, um, Libra, to create an environment that you want, outcomes that you want, a life that you want. So you've been very, very focused. Now, whether that's because you've been studying kind of like self-work, self-help or not, just because, you know, you kind of shift in that direction. Um, I feel here that the reason why the Ace of Wands here is here is because you're in anticipation of things coming your way, things that you've been working on, things that you desire in your life. Um, I am, I've already done a money career and finance reading. I don't remember the reading, but now spirit is kind of showing me for those of you that have been working hard to, um, uh, buy a property, create stability in your life, create new opportunities in your life, look to the future and distant horizons, believe in the unbelievable. But let me say this, um, it is, it is not about lottery winnings, you guys. Please stop leaving comments about uh, lottery winnings. I do not predict any kind of windfalls in regards to lottery winnings. Um, I don't know, whatever you're gambling, all right? That is uh, obstructive energy and I will never read that energy. Um, and so if you're thinking, you know, oh, that lottery ticket is going to come in for me. No, it's not. All right. It's not. If you do win it, go ahead and prove me wrong. Right. Post it. Do a video of it and you can post it on my site. But um, but this is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something that you've been working hard on. It does feel like money. It does feel like a new beginning. It does feel like the ending is the 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 old stuff is ending. Now here in the Eight of Swords, what's happening here in, in the reverse position is that you've been in a very vulnerable situation. You have felt like um, that there's been a lot of things against you and a lot of um, maybe falsehoods, falsehoods. And what I mean by that is people misrepresenting you, people misrepresenting themselves, people not really uh, protecting you in a certain situation. And uh, so you've been very, very vulnerable, but this is now in the reverse position next to the chariot card. So if you're still kind of feeling vulnerable in the present position, I do feel because it's sitting next to the chariot card that this is an look at what it's surrounded by. We've got the tower on one side, we've got the chariot on the other, and we've got the ace of wands. So the so it looks like the eight of swords here, where you're feeling trapped and bound and, um, you know, uh, not able to kind of get out of a situation. All of that is breaking apart. Is it breaking apart in the month of October? I do believe that that is your present position. That's what spirit is bringing forward. Will you see the full kind of breakdown of it in the month of October? Yes, I think some of you will. The energy is too strong to start off with the Tower card, the Chariot card, and the Ace of Wands. Um, so the combination here shows that there's going to be a lot of breakdown of things in your life so you can move forward into manif kind of manifesting what you want. So how does that look, Libra? Let me explain something to those of you that have never experienced this before many times when something breaks down in your life so you can go along your soul's path it is not easy um, doors start shutting in your face and and things that you've worked really really hard for uh, get taken away from you and it is because doors are shutting because your soul is moving in a different direction and needs you to move in a different direction Spirit wants me to give an example of this in my own life. I wish they would stop doing this, Libra. It's really embarrassing to talk about myself. I wish they'd give you another example, but for some reason, one or two of you need to hear this. 
I was uh, pre-med and a psychology major in my undergrad. And um, I was going to go to med school and become a psychiatrist. Anyway, long story short, uh, doors closed in my face. I needed to pass one class to get into med school. I already had, a, a they'd already accepted me, but there was one class that I needed to get a minimum score in order to get into med school. And then I could go on to become a psychiatrist and, you know, do all of that. What ended up happening is I took that exam and I was one point shy of the score. Now, everything else that I had done to get into med school was uh, there, everything. There was nothing lacking in my application other than one point. And I went to my professor, I remember it was physics, and I begged him to give me that point. I begged him to, and he asked me the questions. He asked me the questions that were on the test and I was able to regurgitate all the answers. And he was like, how come you didn't put this down in the test? And I'm like, you know, I just get test anxiety. And he was, and he just shrugged his shoulders and he's like, I can't do anything. And, um, and I begged and begged and begged and begged. And I, it was the, the one and only time I ever did this, I think in, uh, I hardly ever cry <laughs> in front of people, Libra, but it was the one and, time, one and only time I walked out of his office and I just cried all the way to the parking lot and I couldn't stop crying to the point that I had to stop off at the ladies' room and like try and pull myself together, but I couldn't because um, the tower moment had happened and um, it was out of my control because as far as I was concerned, my dreams were crashing. And I, I thought that that was my path. I was a psychology major. I was in pre-med. I was working in psychology. I was brilliant at what I did. And I couldn't believe that, I, uh, that one point was stopping me from getting into this school. So what ended up happening is I left school for a couple of years and I finally came back. And what ended up happening is and this is a story within itself and when i do the the law of attraction without using the law of attraction i'll tell that story too because it's really important but what ended up happening is a door opened for me and instead of going to med school i became a doctor in clinical psychology and uh it is such a blessing in disguise to me when i look i look back at that moment constantly in my life and i am so thankful that that did not happen because i never wanted to be a doctor that prescribed meds and at that point um in psychiatry uh psychiatrists did both therapy and did and prescribed meds if they were needed Today, psychiatrists only prescribe medication, and depending on what country you're in, very well, at least here in America, they're not doing therapy with you. So the field had changed, and I would be just really um, horrible, heartbroken, because I'd, I'd spent years in medical school to end up doing something I didn't want to do, that I was totally against. So spirit is making me feel that here. So for some of you, the um the tower moment is going to feel like it did for me very very intolerable but it is a reset spirit is saying it is a reset for you to be forced to go down the path you're supposed to go down and let me tell you from experience libra it just never feels like that is the path you're supposed to go down you you go down it stamping your feet having a tantrum kicking and screaming and saying what the hell only to find out it was divinely led okay so that should apply to one or two of you if you're going through that or if you've just gone through that you know i can only empathize it is a very very difficult experience to have your dreams crash down and to believe that you're supposed to go on a different path so that is a reset in that manner is happening for some of you. So let's talk about the challenge before I talk about the strength. Over here, we have the four of wands. And this kind of ties into that tower card along with the page of swords. Spirit, do you want to bring forward the meaning here for me for Libra? Can you tie it all in with that kind of present position that some of them may be experiencing where everything's crashing down around them? 
I'm going to read this out for you, Libra, as the spirit world blends with my energy and gives me the information about your challenge. So much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and commitment in your personal life. And that's the challenge, right? So some of you are going to go through something where it's going to be like what I described, like it feels like the world is crashing down and everything that you've worked for is for now, right? It, it meant nothing. Um, but there is some divine intervention happening here to get you back on the course you're supposed to be on. And that does apply for a lot of Libras. I gotta say, I'm feeling it really, really strongly. I was just about to say a few Libras and Spirit just corrected me and said, no, it applies to a lot of Libras. You guys are going through something very, very defining in your life right now. And so we have the Page of Swords here. Spirit, can you tell me more about the Page of Swords? You're, you're wanting to live authentically. You're wanting to go after the truth. You're wanting to have happiness and stability in your life. And um, uh, just, just focus on what it is that you wanted to do. Um, so Spirit wants me to bring back that example. For me, I didn't want to become a doctor. That was not my goal, right? To have the title of being doctor. That is not why I then went on to get a clinical psychology degree. Um, a doctorate degree. What I wanted was mastery in my ability to treat clients. And so um, I focused on that. I didn't focus on the superficial thing, which is a degree, which to me actually means nothing. What, what means something to me is the ability to um, have every, any human being that walks into my office, no matter who they are, no matter how old they are, no matter what they have, I have to have my expertise so um, so on point that they, I have to be able to help anybody that walks into the office. And that's what I was looking for. So, so um, stay focused on ultimately what is your goal, right? What is the goal for you? Here it shows stability. Here it shows a home. Here it shows a happy relationship. Here it shows prosperity in all forms. Here in the challenge, it shows you don't have it, okay? And that's the challenge. It's holding on to the dream, holding on to what it is you desire and continuing to move in that direction. So please have the strength to do that because it's very important that you don't lose heart if you have to go through this type of kind of tower moment that I'm describing. Now it's only, you know, the spirit says, you know, a lot of you are changing direction, but not a lot of you, I don't think, are gonna experience a tower moment in the way that I experienced it. A few of you will. And all I can say is that is a blessed thing, Libra. It really is. I know it doesn't feel like it. It feels like total crap, but, um, you know, <laughs> Libra doesn't a lot of stuff feel like total crap. And it's like, what the hell? What the hell universe? What the hell? Anyway, let's talk about your strength. As this, as, as I was pulling this card for you, Libra, it felt great. I got to tell you. Um, so this is the 10 of Pentacles and this is what it says. Financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. So there's a lot of happiness surrounding you in the month of October. For many of you, it has to do with birthday, birthday celebrations or anniversaries or celebrations of some kind, new beginnings. I keep seeing new beginnings for you. There's going to be kind of this kind of serious stuff that you're dealing with, but there's going to be happy things around you. Um, now, the King of Wands shows that, that you're deep in thought as these activities are happening around you. You're very focused on your money. You're very focused on how you feel about what's happening to you. And so we have the King of Wands in reverse here. So even though this stuff is happening around you, you're there, but you're not fully engaged in those celebrations. Nonetheless, this is a beautiful energy that's happening around you. And it's kind of balancing out anything that may be happening in regards to challenges and difficulties uh, brought on by the tower moment as you change direction in life. 
and this i mean again this this is kind of synchronicity in your reading today that i don't usually see in any reading here we have the king of wands in reverse and look at what it's surrounded by the ten of pentacles and the ten of uh, cups so those of you that watch a lot of tarot or those of you that know what tarot is you're probably picking up the energy too which is and it and if you look at it these are two different decks and the colors are at practically the same that is not how it goes in all these different tarot decks it's, the colors are very very different but right here um the you know we've got this synchronicity of the of the gold and the yellow and the green um and um you know spirit can you bring forward the meaning of the colors for me uh bring forward the meaning of the colors so yellow has to do with you trusting your gut green has to do with your um your heart energy it has to do with loyalty it has to do with dreaming about um, what you want for you uh, if you're single it means kind of um, gravitating to what you want which is a solid relationship if you're in a relationship it's about that relationship getting stronger or um, allowing things to be built in that relationship financially um mobility wise i don't know why spirit is telling me that but mobility wise but there's some fundamental things that you want done for the family you're very uh with the strength coming out the strongest here um during the month of october from now until the end of october is loyalty um you're you're loyal to those that you love you're loyal to uh, who you are but again there's this kind of seriousness about you uh, in the month of October as you contemplate you know what it is that you want um, as I am getting these cards ready for the outcome I just want to apologize for the audio so my phone updated oh, Libra let me tell you something about technology it is not my best friend um, anyway for so suddenly my like if I'm not if I turn my head my microphone just doesn't pick up my voice uh, consistently and I really apologize for that I am going to get another microphone I've already been through about 200 but you know anything for you Libra anything all right this is the outcome Spirit can you go ahead and tell me about the outcome here can you tell me more we have the nine of wands in reverse we have the king of cups in the upright position we have the magician now i've got to say the when i was shuffling over and over again the magician came out but it didn't pop out for me the way i like the spirit world to pop out the cards these cards are very big in my hand and so when i'm shuffling they have a tendency like if you look at my palm of my hand and the cards like it covers my whole palm so it's very difficult um, for me to shuffle and have the cards pop out but either way i like the cards to pop out so the cards in this deck were not popping out they were falling out the magician fell out three times and i said to spirit if you want me to uh to read the magician you're going to have to pop it out they did in the outcome but it came out in your present position it came out in your strength position it came out um in your challenge position and i gotta say so really it came out four times and it's now coming out in the um in the outcome spirit tell me more about the outcome tell me why the magician card is so important for libra okay let me read the card and uh, I'll let you know what's going on. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. For some of you, this has to do with study. I see the lectern here, like in the study hall. Um, for some of you, uh, you're gonna experience um, a change or an ending in your family. And that can, and I had just, I, I just gotta say this because it hardly ever comes out. But for a couple of you, there's going to be a death in your family. It does feel like it's an expected death. It does feel like somebody may have been ill for a very long time. And it does feel like um, it's kind of like this release because nobody wants to see this person suffer any longer. So for one or two of you, that's going to happen in your life in the month of October. It does feel like you're going to be okay with it because you are very, very connected spiritually through the month of October. 
um, you're very much in alignment with your higher self. We've got the King of Cups energy here. And again, there's this huge focus and alignment with your soul. We've got the nine of wands in reverse, and this really shows how you're coming out of your head energy and dropping into your solar plexus, which is, you know, your psychic chakra. Um, solar plexus. So psychic, uh, your psychic chakra could be your third eye, could be your crown chakra, the top, the one on top of your head. It could be your throat chakra. It's, it's basically all the chakras, to be honest. If I've if I were teaching it, I would be teaching about all the chakras are uh, your psychic ability. But right here, it shows that you drop out of the head energy, which is mental energy, worry and concern. Um, and you go into this very, very spiritual energy where you're really, really focused on what it is that you want within your soul to manifest. Spirit just said you've had enough. A spirit is just saying that you've had enough and you're going to make it happen. What it is, is your dreams. You're going to make your dreams come true. I do feel like the tide is changing for you. I do feel like for some of you, um, you know, things go very, very quickly in October. There's a lot of changes for you guys in the month of October, especially if you can identify with that tower moment. So what I would say is this. If you haven't already, listen to The Law of Attraction by Jerry and Esther Hicks. I do not recommend the YouTube version because it's kind of, even though it's it's um, Jerry and Esther, I think it's Esther actually. What I don't like about it, it's, it's cut up into pieces and even the live lectures and stuff like that is not the same as the Audible book that was channeled. So I would recommend the getting the Audible channeled book, Law of Attraction and Law of Attraction series. Don't spend money on it. If you don't have money, don't spend money on it. On it. Look at the YouTube version. But those of you that have it, re-listen re to it or reread it. And those of you that haven't, please, please get on it, right? Because you're in manifestation mode. And um, you don't want to manifest by accident. What you want to do is put your intention out there and know how to do that and manifest appropriately. If you don't like the Law of Attraction series, uh, Spirit is now telling me another book that is very important for you to provide guidance is Wayne Dyer's Power of Intention. Okay, so they just threw that in. Okay, anyway, Libra, um, I hope that helps. Look at your money, career, and finance reading. Spirit is telling me it does have something to do with this reading. I can't remember the reading, so go ahead and look at it, Libra. I hope it helps, and I will talk to you soon.